Yeah, it's a smell poopies. So I'm going to be the cloud. Tax, tax federation? Yeah, the tax, you know, tax it meetings. Was trade federation, yeah. All right, you know what I'm talking about, Sweaty. So right, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to I'm do gonna this. I'm going to be that dark cloud hovering over all of you guys. I know so. you are, but I think you got, you'll got you find something. I will. I, there's right. stuff in here. Hey, okay, so special that, shout out. should yeah. put the shout out to our... We got Dennis who's operating yeah, absolutely. all of the technical stuff. This is going to be a pain in the ass for him to do, and he's doing all this. We got Wendy over here. Yeah, who Wendy. Like, all the food. <laughs> She's going to be kept keeping us fed. She's going to be keeping us drinking. So we were able. There she is. <laughs> To keep us rocking and rolling here for the next two hours. So. And, and a huge in. shout out to the chicken that's going to keep Christian nice and nourished while we're watching this <laughs> Thank movie. Thank you, Sharon, to the chicken. <laughs> you usually bring popcorn to a movie. Charlie the chicken, ladies and gentlemen. And your napkin. <laughs> Well, that one's right there. When do you put them on the table? Giant shout out to Doritos and the people at yes. the factory that no, make no, no, Doritos. Not us. Don't, oh wait, don't say that. Not, no shout out to Doritos. Yeah. We probably oh. already cut. Still no. like Doritos. Oh THX. my god, the wizard just blew up the world. Oh. It's the THS thing. It's turning Terminator liquid. Oh god. There it is. THX. How I play you? that. I play that every time I make love to Digitally somebody. Digitally mastered for optimal <laughs> so you, audio. So video you've video never played it. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Yeah. The taxation of trade routes. Yeah, of, what is oh, it? I'm asleep already. Oh, my God. I actually thought it was an interesting premise, going yeah. with the political. Well, you were a game. lawyer at one point. I was, yeah, it's so I weird, know. though. It's called Star Wars, and then it begins with yeah. the beginning of the lawyer's lawsuit. Okay, well, of how the did war start? Wait, I, wait. I the Greedy though, Trade Federation has stopped all shipping. Oh, my God. It's a shipping war. That's right. Shipping and Let's taxation with party. the Federation of the I, see, Guild I, Navigators. The no, oh, wait. You mean the Moidians? Is a perfectly uh, my illegal. special accent will be a very uh, insulting for everyone from the other planet. I just can't wait for it. They went down to ventilation shaft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they went into the ventilation shaft. No, just, first of all, yeah. get that thing out of your mouth. Oh, the first oh. shot of the, the droids. Okay, Roger, Roger. Here's a question. If C-3PO and these protocol droids go, I believe they are Jedi Knights, sir. How come the droid, the, the other droids are... And check it out, Carpo. Roger. Why? Right. You clearly have the technology. Oh, oh they're no, they're they're not the ventilation shaft yet. Oh, not okay. Right. Oh, on the button. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Speak a little more stereotypical. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I take yeah. it back. Maybe they're a little stereotypical. That one on the button on the top. Yeah. They've got this, and they got the Misa Master, and then they've got. But it the is cool the way that one Watto. guy goes. We will not survive this. I'm like, yeah, that's my favorite cool. part of the movie. That looks awesome. <laughs> when I saw this, yeah, I was like, also, yeah, this why didn't anybody? Happen. Why didn't anybody in the original trilogy ever try to do this trick with their lightsaber? Too old. Yeah. <laughs> that's so badass. I do like the way they play. Like they play very flamboyantly with their lightsabers in this. You know, yeah, like yeah. it's like like it's it a lot of behind the back kind of moves. Qui Gon's not going to give up. He's like, no, son, I'm totally like, getting I'm in there. Through yeah. This door. yeah. Bitch, you screwed. Yep. Apparently, he thinks it's impossible. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it, and like the super jump and all that shit. It's like, oops. That wasn't actually a super <laughs> jump. Yeah. The right. <laughs> they just Told fell. You. But did they ever explain how they can use this super speed but never no. use it again? No. All right. Oh, the battle droids have a sense of humor. Right. How cute. <laughs> so, your advice is. Go to where you just pointed and thought the planet right. was in the first yeah. place. Just go yeah. there. <laughs> Master Yoda, I made a duty in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> More like, Master Yoda, I just fell asleep from this boring sequence. <laughs> this is who you can find in? <laughs> Jar Jar Binks? I yeah. haven't seen this Come on, yeah, when, kid. When Jar Jar's your wingman, you got problem. You was getting laid, Master Annie. <laughs> <laughs> you was put your pee-pee in her. <laughs> You should put your pee pee in her mubaga. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be playing the role of the guy that says, well, in the anti cheese edits, they cut this dun, out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so man. there it is. The big fanfare. It's this still is, beautiful. Do you know for we thought this was going to be the last Star Wars movie ever? That's yeah. right. This is right. it. That's right. I remember getting here it comes. Okay, episode three. Here, here go, comes, Alice. Mark. Say, hey, Alice. <laughs> Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Well, let Alice get a great title for a movie. Yes. Here it comes. War! War! Yeah. Oh, Jendi Tarkovsky. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the version, the thing Star that, Wars, lady and gentlemen. Is it just me a or million does the pilot clones. look a lot like the pilot? <laughs> that's, was, that's right. Was that the clones pilot, everywhere. Was that the pilot from the first Phantom Menace? Yeah. Yeah. No. Die? No, those are two clones. No, those yeah, are the clones. clones. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's Boba Keep Fett. Up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Django Fett. Fett. It's Django. And Mark, that's yeah. Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. 
And I'm going to say this, Anakin Skywalker, in, in boy band terms, he's gone from being the nice kid in one direction to the punk ass kid in one direction. <laughs> Oh, I also oh, like. Oh, see, that looked oh, awesome with the guy it's like Sandra in the Bullock. Dead of space. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, when are those vulture droids going to attack? Bitch! Yeah. Ooh. R2 is the second best character in all of Star Wars to use blue lightning. <laughs> <laughs> no. Always on the move. Wasn't he just saying we yeah. don't want to get out, we want to get moving? Yeah. Didn't he just <laughs> yes. say that? Did they receive new orders? <laughs> yeah. They needed to say, hands up, Jedi. <laughs> Has there ever been a bad guy, like, development that R2 hasn't put his pee-pee in? <laughs> like, he likes girls from the wrong side of town. Okay, just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> ah, nothing like a good... It's, it's, it's close it's enough it's to a fart. It just, but it takes out... <laughs> it's yeah, like, why? Now I'm not... Okay, this no. okay. stupid right. and dumb. Yeah. All right, George, we need to talk. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, that's gone. Yeah! So stupid. It's like he's watching football. Yeah. First down. It's like me watching the Redskins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That oh. doesn't feel good. Yeah. Pelvis. Oh. There goes the pelvis. Yeah, you ain't walking away from that. This fight scene brought to you by Panera. And the only place on Coruscant with a long runway. In a universe where ships can just take off vertically, why do they have a two-mile long runway? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Coruscant, that's like... The it's a pretty for the it's Star a Destroyers planet, you know. Remember, that's where they launch now. I'm hoping one of his Panera jokes food is. is really good, guys. Yeah. That's I'm enjoying I really, your great deal. It's the only thing I have to say right now. Life Day, son. <laughs> life Day. Just, they want to get there just in time <laughs> for some Life Day action. Let's get some Wookie action. All oh, right. Oh, not even nicely. I, yes. Yeah, like it's, they don't yeah. even need Act One. No. All right. What the hell are those things? Seven hundred dollars on these yeah. tickets. Those wispy <laughs> air balloon liquid. Uh, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he went from. Well, I'm a Jedi. I'm a Sith. Kill kids. The, just like that. The is, novel when the yeah, novelization right is here. The, the, yeah, the novelization Literally. is fantastic. Well, it's, I, it's I, a guy I, who's green. Doesn't necessarily. Like, I mean, you know that was yeah. the Green Lantern. I don't, I don't know, know for sure. Not, it didn't have the logo. Yeah, so it doesn't fine. have. It's not really Green Lantern unless it's got the actual. Yeah. I think it counts as parody, doesn't it? Like if you're making fun of. That's just balls right in his face. It's amazing. I don't like it. I don't, I don't. Yeah. I don't like it I'm except so for this. It, wor it works here. But they it works that, here. They're making fun of that. That's the gimmick. gimmick. Yeah, yeah, that's they the gimmick. Do it in every movie now. Yeah. Yeah. I like the subtle eye movements too, where like you start to see. Oh, they're actually using the brow and the eyes to like yeah. express. Mm -hmm. It's real subtle, but yeah. it's in great. fact, because he's in there. I mean, that's actually Ryan Reynolds. You know, so like, it's, an, it's again a ballsy thing that an actor would do. Um, something like Dread. Uh, Dread did it, and the fact that he did the majority of the time he is behind there. Oh yeah, totally. I know, I know. You what do you think he's going to follow Jason Statham or something? Or? Well, no, because I don't he did, hate he did Ed's grind, but it's so hard, dude. Oh, That's really a short movie. list. It's How many action movie. stars do you have at any one given time? Like, this yes, yes, they did. But this, this whole scene. This, whole this, whole this is yeah. the whole if, scene. Yeah. If you're implying that Salt and Pepper needed a boost, they didn't. Okay, they didn't no, need a boost, but it brought it back and probably happy about it. Yeah, I would argue say they will never need a boost in the entire history. They're like en vogue. They're timeless. I never watched in the movie. Like, I just saw the raid too, and oh, yeah. this is like yeah. a little yep. bit of like, oh, let's give the raid a little punch. Definitely, up. That's maybe definitely. it's a commentary on how on how you can do action scenes today. But I never noticed a lack of budget watching any of these scenes. Nope, nope. I never. You don't need you don't need that extra money yeah. to still make it work. Ten mil <laughs> 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 All That I mean, even the headbang they let you know you're in a comic book movie. Yes. Oh, no. oh, here he comes. The body's still, just I, I drag, still dragging that body. I just a noticed this, yeah. that. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And goes, Amazing. Yeah. And and right there. Well, what the, happens to him? That's the credits oh opening God. sequence right there. But wait, Riley, watch what happens to that body. Yeah, but is that. Okay, you don't have to attack me because I'm a <laughs> dick. <laughs> hey, guys, stop fighting. <laughs> Look, that's, it's that's Xavier's school. Peter Parker. Oh, it's a total Peter stretch. Peter Parker, you never heard of him? <laughs> yeah. Look at Colossus. Look at the lighting in the shot. Schmoes, yeah. relax. Look, he's eating some grape nuts. You ever heard of the X Men? <laughs> where is yeah, where is everyone? Not where are they? <laughs> it's just, no, no, oh, no. Oh, that was a huge thing on Twitter. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Been there, right? Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do <laughs> you see he's reading them? Wait a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect Whoops. timing. Yeah, oh, yeah. You got a kid involved. <laughs> you see he was uh, he was reading Mario Lopez's biography. Yeah. Um the book that he had. Oh, was it? Was Mario that, Lopez's that's great. Yeah. Oh, I did not notice it. That's yeah. amazing. What do you think this guy looked like as a kid? Like that. Exactly. Yeah. Just like exactly. that with a bigger yeah. head. Yeah. More yeah. hair. <laughs> home Alone. See it. Thing with that's the his eyes. little Home Alone yeah. face. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
There's a director's <laughs> cut of the director's cut. <laughs> yeah, the, the, extent, <laughs> the, extent, the extent. That was a director's great cut. pause. Yeah, Everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> how do we do we comment? I mean, I'm sure I went there. I, I was there. like, yeah, okay. I'm sure there's people out there that want to know how many inches Deadpool, and you just saw his dong right there. We're gonna still keep going. That's what it looks like. Look, he made a candy cane. <laughs> a steel candy cane. Yeah, it's please. a Christmas ornament. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He was brought back to life with leeches. I'm just going to watch Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Your stories are horrible. <laughs> I have superpowers. I can heal myself. It is one time I jumped off of a cliff. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> well, let's watch the movie. I forgot to finish my fucking story. A fucking half story. <laughs> At least uh, just tell the last half, <laughs> motherfucker. What the fuck? I got Don't better. start the first half and not finish it. <laughs> it wasn't even that long of a No, time. I know. It, it was, was like he stopped say talking another about sentence. it. Yeah, just we're trying to. Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Gina Carano's going to talk. <laughs> well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best, best damn movie related show. Whatever. I don't care. I just had a bagel. <laughs> What's up? There's a lot of people here. I want Mark to start eating those crunchies while I'm talking. We are had this bit already. Who brings potato chips to a set? This I, guy, Mark Ellis. I, it was like, look, if you look at the if you look at the wide shot, it's like the Last Supper anyway. So I yeah. brought some snack. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're going to talk about education, foreign policy, gun control. Uh, equal rights, gun control. We're going to talk. No, no, no. We're talking about in the world. <laughs> Of movies, of course. The big, super important issues in the world of movies. So uh, our moderator today will be our own Megyn Kelly, of course, Ashley Mobile. Yes, Trump, you fear me. You can be Trump for the day. All of you. No. We are, we are a conglomeration of Trumps today that has been keeping things the quietest has been Disney. Like everybody else has been. Why are you was laughing? That? It was on me. I was on TV. I was excited. We got more people at the table than we normally do. Dennis is like, who's sitting where? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should be more specific. John, yay or nay? Um, so, yes, I believe that as I'm sitting there watching the Super Bowl with John Schnepp right beside me, taking in the great sport of what football. What is a Super Bowl? I don't even, what are you guys talking about? What's a Super Bowl? I believe. Big bowl. It's like a big bowl? It's a big, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like cereal. With potato right? chips. Yeah. It's, right. it's something Mark missed out on, okay. apparently. Mm. You're crazy if you think Carolina's going to put up 31 points against Denver's defense. Uh, I yeah, think you're crazy. Too. I think Peyton Manning might give him a couple points. I'm going to have a giant bowl of Cheerios, and I'm saying Rogue One is not. <laughs> there's no teaser. You Star Wars sweaties don't get it. Well, then hang on. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll remove you from this arena. So I think Rogue One, they'll probably have a breathing Darth Vader, yeah. whatever. It's Jeb Bush. Yeah, yeah, it's Darth all that Vader. breathing and whatever those guys yeah. were talking about with Star Wars. It's happening. And your parents were like, That's Tommy was so. Tommy was so. You try to imitate your parents. <laughs> They're gonna go see Room now because they brought oh. to their attention. But what can producers do to kind of get a bigger audience? Christian, I'll throw it to you. Because um, you have like a blank stare on your face. No, it doesn't matter. It's a, tweet, hashtag, do all that kind of stuff because people who you're going for that are going to want to see the indie movies, Ashley's parents aside, who are big on Twitter, they, it's going to be a younger <laughs> generation that you're aiming a lot of these movies for. And by the way, Ashley's dad, the meatloaf was terrific last night. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> thanks you. Thanks you. Well, thanks you. Thanks you. <laughs> it's a trekkie road. Tr Change it. It's a trekkie road. It's a, it's it a is tricky a trekkie road. road because you have all these little indies that want to <laughs> do it. Then right. Star Trek Beyond or right. Independence, they, boom, they just right. start hovering the over. Sound. We want that two minutes. <laughs> good, good transition, Mark. Good transition. Yeah, here, <laughs> All right. Like I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Kick ass. And look, caution is great, and it's necessary in what we do as far as being critics and reviewing movies. But I'm a fan. That's first why you and have foremost. four kids. That's why I have 19 <laughs> kids whose names I don't remember. I got drunk and named them after women. They're all named members. Eddie. Come on. <laughs> Most of them are named Eddie. Uh, so look, this. If you're a fan of this, you should be going in, and you should be optimistic. You should be over the moon that they made a movie about Batman fighting Superman. The world is. You're like. Life is too short to walk around and be nervous about, oh, am I going to like this form of art? Just get excited. That's the most fun part about this stuff is getting hyped, is getting jacked up. If you go in and you hate it, are they going to are they going to execute your puppy? No, just go in. And you didn't like Terrible. the movie as much as you did, but you should enjoy the excitement going in, which is why I always tell people I don't like when trailers give away too much, but get excited. Watch trailers. Get but it's 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 little two minute pieces of art and it gets you excited. It's fun to enjoy and celebrate this stuff. It's not fun to walk around and be like, ah, that movie looks stupid, uh, but I'll yeah. go see it anyway. I'm feeling nervous like, about this. Or I'm anxious about this. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with Enjoy you. it. Celebrate it. Little, yeah. little, little known fact that uh, John Wick was actually, his puppy was killed because he didn't like Batman v Superman. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Reverse engineered it. Who's got room in their wallet for a condom? I mean, <laughs> 
Forget <laughs> caution. Throw it to the wind. All right. What's next? No, I don't want to hear it. You'd want you'd leave the room. Away, yeah. I, I left like, the room multiple yeah, times. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm like, like give it right, to yeah. me. Let's yeah. hear it. Let's hear it. Because I like that because I feel like, at least for myself, it doesn't affect me in the film. I don't even if I know where it's happening in the film, I don't know the entire thing. I try not to know the entire movie nowadays, right. but I don't mind. Really? Once but it, as yeah. a filmmaker, as a filmmaker and a writer, if yeah. you had a, a movie coming out, a script coming out, and your script got leaked out there about a really cool scene that you put together, you'd be okay with that? No. That's what I mean. No, but what I'm saying is like, I don't, saw, as a fan member, I'm, though, right. I'm saying yeah. is but like, be, not, but you'd, no, you'd, but we don't talk about spoilers. To, oh, yeah, not in the outer community. Yeah. If you find out about something and you talk with your friends about right, it, that's right, right. totally you and I have had But not releasing it into the world. You yes. and I have had yeah, conversations yeah, yeah. that I've, I've seen a movie and you're like, okay, well, what happens here? And I'm like, are you sure you want to hear this? And you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Right. And, it tell, and then you're like, and how's it end? I'm like, okay, it goes like this. And you go, all right, that sounds good. I'm going to go see it. Yes. After you've heard all the spoilers, then you wanted to go see it. Yeah, but I totally appreciate and understand people on the you know online community like on twitter or facebook don't ruin the stuff right like it's for me like walking dead don't tell me what happened like that's the i'm, I'm specifically like that show i want to just watch that right, right so there's specific things and i think everyone has their own specific things and i think you should respect that and that's what i think that lack of respect online is something that i'm talking Agreed. about yeah you know so. by the way there's a dude who gets eaten by zombies what <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> zombies eating yeah. zombies yeah. in what? star wars yeah. <laughs> it's right. a, a zombie wars Schnepp, which one? We got Batman v Superman, Batman v Superman. We got Captain America Civil War, X-Men Apocalypse, Suicide Squad, Doctor Strange, and Deadpool. Right, and Gambit's been pushed off, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So right. what's going to be the best superhero? What is, like, put it on the table yeah. now. What's going to be the best superhero? Not the most successful, right. the best superhero. Well, wasn't the question, what is our, am I most excited about? Not the no, best. No, no, what's going to be the best? best? What's the best? After you yeah. see them, uh, what will be the best? What do you like? predict will be the best? The best. That's, that's really rough. Um... Yeah, Ashley's asking the hard hitting. No, Ashley, what are you yeah, trying to do to us? On um, the hard. You know, honestly, like I think I can answer that. I can answer that in multiple multiple answers because it, there is no best. <laughs> we got it. We I didn't it. even hear it. She Go made ahead, a hard joke. And the fifth yeah. on the hard yeah. shit. No. Oh. All right, so I think the best comedy superhero film will be Deadpool. I love where I'm this anxious, conversation is going. If you're talking about the most question mark, the Batman vs Superman has enough question marks to get the Riddler hard, okay? <laughs> but I still think I'm going to take a little bit of a leap of faith and say it's going to be Batman vs Superman. I went to uh, 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 what was it? Chili's. I went to Chili's the other day. Good man. And I, I, I do enjoy. <laughs> oh, I do yeah. enjoy. Good it, I don't care about Chili's. the C rating, okay? It's delicious. <laughs> um, C stands for champion. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went in there. Check your colon. And I spent so for the original Annie when they all got dressed up and they did a whole song and dance you know why because they were going to the movies right, they were right. so jacked to go to the movies and now you just have slobs like me they just roll out of bed and just sit there I had this animal two rows in front of me I'm, and he sat down I'm right down. here I'm you right were, here no you were sitting next to me and oh, I told God. you about it afterwards is this guy this is a press screening this guy oh, he sits there he, oh I remember he, not the, only this, ride along. Yeah, uh, this, this dude. T no, no, no. Not that guy. That okay. guy was narrating the movie. He was commenting. <laughs> right. He was Joe Buck. That's this Kevin Hart. <laughs> this dude comes down. This sloth is sitting down <laughs> there. He take. You know how people put their feet up and that annoys me anyway. Yeah. Because even if nobody's sitting in front of you, I'm sitting behind you, so I can see your stupid foot doing this while I'm trying to watch the movie. <laughs> this dude takes his shoe and his sock off. Oh, yeah, 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 no. yeah. Right there. No. That is why you yeah, need yeah. plain clothes marshals yeah, yeah, yeah. in every. Right. Theater. Just Sir, please put the sock back see on. See your bunions. Oh put the sock back God. on and then you put could, the sneaker back on and get out the of the theater. The shadow of Lynn yeah. in <laughs> right. between. The shadow oh. of toes. Is that a mouse in your toe? <laughs> you talk about checking your colon. No. Check your toes next no. time you go to a movie theater. Right. And that's why we're all uh, chirping about Arclight because Arclight does it the best possible way. Get arrested, you do way. that. They break I'm, those toes. Yeah. So all the movies are five bucks. That's a solid I'm theater, pretty sure man. it's called Shitty Tuesdays and they play all the terrible movies. No, 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 no. No, it's it is Shatai music. No, seriously, that is how like that. That's how people can go see independent films. They yep. make it like, and I think that should be an across the board thing. Figure it out. They'd have to figure it, it out. Other, like Whitey Bulger and Bob, <laughs> and, and just uh, around. Like, hey, where's my money this where's week? Where's my cut? Well, I mean, hey, I mean, it has to happen. Like we're talking about it. It's gonna, you know, Break movie legs. theaters. They have to figure this out to get people to yeah, want to go see. Yeah, it's got to be theaters in the studios working together. Yeah. They've got to come up with a solution. I saw a poor usher get his legs broken by a studio. He had a Warner Brothers. Sure. Put it down. Yeah. I'll break your legs. I'll break All your right, legs. folks. Hey, listen. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. This new Power Rangers movie is one of the dumbest.
dumbest pieces of butt fuck news I've, I've heard in like a very, very long time. What was that? that being said, butt fuck news. Look at that, the butt fuck moves. It is, it is. Yeah. Shit day Tuesday here on butt yeah. fuck news. Butt fuck you news. Know Where we bring the best butt fuckery around. I'll butt break fuck your news. legs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> butt fuck news. Oh, hey, did it start with already? The with the mouth. <laughs> it's about three so, butt fucks in. So, I, everybody knows I think it was a stupid idea for, for, for them to move ahead with this movie anyway, but there are ways that they could do that might turn out cool. Yeah, yeah, but that, yeah. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the Best Damn Movie Related Show. Coming from right here at the Collider Tour Bus. We're so glad to be here today. <laughs> also here is John Schnepp. That's right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you... Uh, if you guys didn't see Campia or Harloff, that's because when me and Ellis were like on the boot, you know, walking the floor doing the doing the thing at the New York Comic Con, they were in the tour bus partying, playing Magic the Gathering, or whatever else these nerds do <laughs> when they're not doing the hard work, standing at a booth, sweating it out with you weirdos. What's going on? Uh, here's Christian Harloff. Tour bus, aka. Comic Con bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> also, here's Mark Ellis. They literally did not leave the tour bus the entire time. They had bunk beds. They did not allow me and Schnepp back on there. That's why we got to hang out with all of you guys so much in New York City. It was That's a good tour bus. Not Hal Holbrook. Because it was <laughs> Hal Holbrook. <laughs> Hal Holbrook. <laughs> did I say the guy's name right? No, no. I, oh, I, I was looking at it. No, no. Yeah. You didn't say it wrong. If he's related to Hal Holbrook, that guy made me cry in Water for Elephants. Schnepp, buy or sell an origin story for Captain Marvel. I'd buy Kevin Feige's face from that photo. You know, I'd be like that too if I was standing next to Brie Larson. Yeah. <laughs> now what do I do? I'm frozen in fear and awe. I'm awestruck and fearful. Um, you know what you do? You go rent the ghost in the darkness just yeah. to calm yourself down. Brie Larson is incredible. But actually, can we bring up that image one more time just to get that here? I did not know Kate McKinnon from Ghostbusters was playing Captain Marvel. <laughs> Does that not look like Kate in McKinnon from Ghostbusters? In the picture? You mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That in, in meets the, Rachel McAdams. Yes, yeah. meets a little bit of Rachel yeah. McAdams. Anyway, Mark, what do you think about all this? Uh, I, but I definitely buy it, and then I buy the Kevin Feige. Yeah, can we bring that up again? Can we bring the like? I got, yeah. I got to see this picture again. Look yeah. at that thing. Yeah, he's starstruck. It's so now, good. don't get me wrong. I adore Kevin Feige. I think he's a great dude. But that's the face it's of awesome. a man who's never touched a woman oh, the before. Eyes, exactly. too. Look at the eyes. It's just, I mean, you guys saw a room, right? <laughs> right. Look, I'm standing right next that's, to the girl from Room. She's Captain Marvel. Happy, you happy guys man. are being way too. Look, uh, I we don't Kevin have. Feige, Adam doesn't have the photo, but I took a selfie with Kevin Feige at a movie theater. I bumped into him. He had the same exact look on his uh, face. That's so I, it beating me is just as exciting as beating Brie Larson. That's I, the new shit rat's face. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's the face of happiness right there. That's all I'm saying. All right, what's next? <laughs> paycheck. Yeah, he doesn't, paycheck. He doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't think of him as Batman. I always think of him as Daredevil. Just kidding. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. No, he's an actor. At the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank. I'm going to be my Cue computer. The guitar. <laughs> House band. A little bit of delay on the YouTube stream. <laughs> also here, John Schnev. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> We're off to a horrible start. Hey. Yeah, I, lo I love the haters of the future who are like disliking the show before it's even. I just became aware of this. There's actual nerds who can power forward into the future, hate on the show, and then come back before the show's even aired. You guys are bodiful. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Mark Ellis? Well, that is correct. When we first launched the stream, there were 39 likes, which is great. Then there were four dislikes. So we want to know, what do we do? What can we possibly do before we start the show to make you feel better? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, and you nailed Phoenix it. And the Phoenix. Yeah. With one button. One missile launch button. Just Thank a big you. red button that they just keep hitting. I just I regain, regained so much respect even after you said you had that spark of hope with Fire by you naming off all of the bat with Keop as well, which is like, you know, that's a, a tiny. Come on. Give this man a round of applause right now. That's amazing. I couldn't have done it. Fuck Power Rangers, but I'm not saying the F Power Rangers. I'm just saying, like, look, I'm not that excited about it. I don't care who I like cast. how you say the word, yeah. and then you censor yourself. Kind of, you <laughs> say, I'm, I'm saying F Power Rangers, but I'm not saying fuck Power Rangers. It's a it doesn't fight. matter no. what you think. <laughs> Bam, okay. He, 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 he walked oh, right into it. He was I like that monster. It. I walked oh. right into that because I was a little nervous. Because in the middle of my spiel, I saw you look at me pissed off like I said something wrong. Like I did another, you know, the month of spring kind of situation. And so I was like, okay, Campy is clearly going to correct me because something I did. And so I ended my thing and I looked over and then you dead. Oh my God, that was great. Oh, and, and hey, by the way, before I, I forget, uh, clearly that picture that we have up is not the actual picture that, that Dwayne Johnson put up uh, on his Instagram account because you don't see all those guys he's describing. No, guys, 
Godzilla. 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 There was a what do they call it? Lizzie or yeah, something like, like that Lizzie. in the, in the game? Was like Kong, Lizzie, and then the, whatever the and werewolf. And then just a werewolf was. running yeah, around. a giant werewolf with the may same size. May or may size. not have had Nards as Monster Squad yeah. taught us. It was a giant. Though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but that's not the picture. No, no. The, not, the, no the where's you, the picture? I, I, it doesn't matter oh, where the picture is. Oh, <laughs> That's, that's act no, no. <laughs> it was close. But A for effort. Thought I'd make an effort. Hey, man, a you, for get effort. A, you get a you get a you get an A minus. I think it worked. Oh the God. Rock. And all I got was the 2016 Dodge Rampage, which is, a, which is not something you should name a vehicle. Hey, by the way, that right. sounds so dangerous. Rampage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Schnepp has my spark of optimism, <laughs> lit a flame that has engulfed you as well into this fire of optimism. Absolutely not. I sell this. <laughs> I sell this stuff. Rita Repulsa? What kind of name is that? I love Elizabeth Banks. Cash that check. Cash it right now. I think you've got so many other roles that are going to be awesome. This is not one of them. Power Rangers. They should have went with the, the Joseph Kahn, uh, Cohn, uh, whatever that Power Rangers reboot, mm -hmm. re, re, reimagining, whatever you want to call it. Because that was at least exciting, fun. I don't know, man. This is, I, unfortunately, if you like the Power Rangers when you're little kids, maybe this might be some kind of nostalgia bath. You could bathe in and be like, oh, look, it's all stupid again. Whatever. <laughs> I sell it. Hey, movie talk. What's up? Movie talk. I have a whole bunch of different versions, but I like to get the... I think I'm going to... Yeah. Poison's not very busy today, are they? Yeah, let's call Poison. I'll just call it Poison. Yeah. Not Poison Control. Wait a second. <laughs> Whole place is shut down. <laughs> I just dialed it. It was a mistake. Yeah. Ain't looking for nothing <laughs> but a movie talk. Yeah. Oh, how can I, I complain? Resist. Oh, resist or complain. <laughs> Got two lyrics now. Damn it, Snap. What? Let's get in sync. All right, what's next? <laughs> Not in sync Not the band. Not in sync the band. Jesus Christ, what's happening? Movie talk, movie talk. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the idea of bringing back Gumby to the big screen? I'm Gumby, Gumby damn, damn it. Oh. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. He sent this no, question five times, yeah. so I have um, to ask it. I love that he. The, if you've ever seen, I mean, this guy's probably tripping balls right now writing the question. <laughs> Gumby is the most psycho psychedelic series ever made. It is a trip. If you've never seen Gumby, just go on YouTube right now. Hey, Mr. Bill. Type up, type up Gumby. <laughs> And I dare you to watch like four of them without feeling like you're on acid. Oh no! They're really, they're really, they're really strange. He's talking about Saturday Night Live. That has nothing to do with Gumby. <laughs> Come on, Gumby. No, that's Mr. Bill. Gumby is just bizarre. Like I'm the, Gumby. Remember they would float around like this. It's scary the way they travel. They just float around like that. It's weird. Mr. John Schnepp, Schnepp, where can people find you online? Oh, don't walk over there, Mr. Bill. What's happening? Oh, no. <laughs> you guys can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnapp. Get my film, The Death Superman Lives, What Happened, by going to tdoslwh.com. Check me out on Fat Man on Batman this Friday. Got to hang out with uh, Kevin Smith and Mark Bernandin. It was really fun. I'll see you guys later. And, of course, sitting over here on my right, celebrating a birthday this spring the 5th, Mr. Mark Ellis. Mark, where can people find you online? You can find me practicing for Easter morning uh, online at Mark Ellis Live, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll be tweeting out. A, they gave me a promo code at the Comedy Store this weekend. I'm there Saturday night in the main room, so I'll tweet out what the promo code is. You get discount tickets. To come see your boy do some stand-up. Where, where are you this weekend? Uh, the Comedy Store in Hollywood, Sunset. You going? Oh, yeah. I'm going to come check you, you out. What day is it? Yep. Campy is going, everybody. When? What day? Uh, uh, Saturday night. Can I'm going to pretend him? I'm drunk and I'm just going right, to heckle yeah. you like I'm going to go there. I'm going to give him fireball whiskey the whole night and I'm getting Campia drunk on Saturday. It's not See the, us there. Not the one I'm worried about. The one I'm worried about getting too drunk at the show. It's Little old me? Damn. Me? Why would you ever think such a thing? Mark I'll drink all of us, dude. Beneath that veneer <laughs> is a level of mean <laughs> I a think humanity bro in cannot college. see. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, on the end, our lovely host name is Ashley Moba. Ashley, where can people find you? On Twitter and on Instagram and at Mark's Comedy Show on Saturday. Yeah. At Ashley Moba. Happy Wednesday, guys. And uh, do I get five minutes if I come? You get, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for us, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. From the whole crew here, special thanks to you guys for, for being here. Make sure you jump into the comment section below and leave your thoughts on any or all the topics we discuss here today. That'll do it for us, guys. So until tomorrow, bye-bye. Zoolander is one of those movies for me that I still... About 15 out of the 30 nights a month, I will fall asleep to with Zoolander on the TV. I love Zoolander. I've been dying for a sequel. This trailer sucks. I sell this. This trailer sucks. This has gone from being a pithy, 
you know, kind of juxtaposition thing of the world of fashion with intelligent stuff. It's stupid guy and blah, blah, blah. And in the original Zoolander, Derek was simple, but when it came to certain things, he was actually incredibly intelligent. They did that in certain parts of the movie where, where he's simple, yet really smart in some things. And this just felt like a, this felt like a Beavis and Butthead trailer. Like in many ways, the feel of it was like a beef, and I just thought it was nonsense. And now, for the first time since even the concept of a Zoolander two came up, which I have been so excited about, I now I don't care about this movie now. You think just that is what this trailer's done for me. I do not care about this movie now. It just feels like they're going, you know, let's just go as stupid as we can. Like it, honestly, uh. it felt like a trailer made for. I don't know, babies, like, <laughs> babies. Maybe that. What would if be it was it. called two, the two Lander? You would hate it. Well, More no. Or less. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> if funny, if he was Roman, <laughs> I, 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 the jokes in it felt so obvious. <laughs> the two and, in the Z. I, and, come on, I, no, John, did, come but on. This is I wanted. Though. You know, and this, I've been looking for this movie more than any of all of this table. I was right. so excited for this, and now I'm like, I don't. I even think it's because you were too excited. Maybe about it. I think that you could were. Be it. Uh, maybe yeah. you were expecting to see like footage or something. You're like, when are they going to get to the footage? Why do they keep showing out of space? Maybe that was it. Is that why you well, didn't no, shave I, this morning? Because I, you were so depressed I, I, over I was so down about this. Yeah. I, I, I can't even eat. I, I can't saw him at a gas myself. station playing with the gas. Like I saw Maybe it. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. You go, go. yeah, I'm I'm completely with you on, especially the cover of the magazine. I thought the cover of the magazine was just three images of things that we haven't not seen already. You know, it was I haven't seen Batman that chubby. <laughs> <laughs> I I just you know it was, okay, it was there so it's cool to see that it's on the cover I'm dying of, with anticipation to see the film that being said the comments from Affleck are bang on they're absolutely here's the, here's the thing a couple of decades ago and Schnepp can speak more to this than I can really but a couple of decades ago there was a shift in the Batman character in the comic books he became a character who truly was he was skin that was just containing a, a, a boiling eruption of rage and anger that comes from the moment of seeing his parents killed in that alley to the point now that he unleashes that rage and anger now in a controlled way on those who would prey upon the innocent in Gotham City. In essence, any criminal in Gotham has to pay the price for the people who killed his mother and father. That's Batman. We started to get a little, we did get a glimpse of that Batman in the Christopher Nolan Christian Bale Batman. But we have never really truly seen it embodied. And what I love about these comments from Ben Affleck and the fact that he is such a lifelong Batman nerd mm -hmm. is that you knew he was going to bring that. He wanted that element of it. When Zack Snyder started talking about, you know, uh, The Dark Knight Returns being such a heavy influence, you knew we were going to get a glimpse of that rage-infused Batman. And in that trailer, man, when you hear Jeremy Irons talking about uh, he becomes cruelty or whatever, and that there's a close-up on Affleck's face, if you watch it close, man, I love that trailer because when you watch those frames closely, Affleck's face is shaking. You just feel the rage coming off it. And to see that Batman... Now, that doesn't mean that this Batman is going to be better than Christian Bale's Batman. Not, not, not at all. But I do think we are going to get this element of Batman that Bale's Batman didn't give us. And I am very excited about that. Whether they use it right or wrong, we're going to have to wait and see. But just the fact that they seem to be zoning in on that, super stoked. John Byers said that we will eventually get a Hellboy 3. I saw it. I saw the idea that it's ever going to happen. And honestly, I love Guillermo del Toro. Man, I love this guy. But I got. But it was only about eight months ago that in another interview asked about help, possible Hellboy 3, he said it would minimum cost $200 million right. to make. Now he's got an interview saying somewhere along the lines he chopped $80 million out of that and said it's hundred. I want to ask this question. Why does it have to be $120 million? Why does it have to be that expensive? Like the last Hellboy movie total worldwide made $160 million. That means you're going to lose a huge mm. chunk of money if you make a movie right now for 120. million. And here's the other question. The last Hellboy movie, which had a lot of special effects and a lot of weird, wacky, awesome things going on, he made that for $85 million. Inflation is not that steep. Why does this one have to be... Yeah, I keep going back to this one. District 9, with tons of amazing visual effects, CG aliens, all that kind of stuff... $30 million. There is a problem in Hollywood today. 
And that problem is rampant overspending. There is far too much money being spent on producing these movies these days when other movies come out and prove they don't need to spend that much. And then people ask, why are movie tickets so expensive? Because the bleeping studios and filmmakers insist on, oh no, this movie's gonna cost $200 million to make. And now we get, so we can't just charge $7 for a ticket. Now we got to charge $9 for a ticket. You know, I just don't get it. And the filmmaker like Guillermo del, del Toro, who has a background in indie filmmaking, right? Who has a background in budget filmmaking. Why does a Hellboy 3, when the first Hellboy I think cost like 55 million to make, the second one costs 85, why does Hellboy 3 need to be 120 million? When District 9 costs 30, like I just, why does it have to cost that much? If really the big roadblock right now, because apparently Ron Perlman wants to do it, right. Guillermo says he wants to do it, you know, the stu- there are fans out there who want it. If the big roadblock is budget, then come up with a movie that you can shoot for a reasonable price. Hellboy is awesome because of Hellboy. Right. Just give us Hellboy. I'm, I'm a little proclaimed by it, but I don't think he's really all that interested. I think he says he's interested, but I don't really think he is. So I don't think it's ever going to happen. All right, I'm going to describe for you a film. Mm-hmm. In this film, there's an aspiring young artist who cuts some sort of track and catches the attention of somebody in power who promises them money and fame and glory but in order to achieve that there's some alienation among their group of friends that have stuck with them all through thick and thin up until this point and ultimately the artist has to face this dilemma do I stay loyal and true to myself and my friends or do I pursue that gold brass ring now am I describing we are your friends or am I describing as one of you two guys pointed out in our pre-production meeting Gem and the Holograms <laughs> it's, the answer is Yes, it's both. I just look. Everybody knows I am maybe to a point irrationally the world's biggest defender of Zac Efron. Mm-hmm. I think this guy has way more talent than people give him credit for, and I think he's going to be a major, like, serious actor for us with us for a long time. I just don't think a lot of people recognize it yet. But what the hell are you thinking? This movie looks awful. Where's the movie about the young kid who decides, you know what, I'm going to put my nose down, I'm going to work hard in school, and I'm going to achieve these great things, and I'm going to go, I'm going to get into the best college, I have these goals and these dreams of being a doctor and curing diseases. Where's the, I want to be a DJ! <laughs> I don't want to have to effing go to work! I want to, I want to, I want like, look, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bash DJs at all. I mean, look, I hang out in Vegas a lot, man. Good DJs are diamonds when you, for a club and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that, but where are those movies about the real kids who do real work and really dedicate themselves to really doing something? It's like, man, I don't like having a regular job. I'm going to go sleep with my boss's girlfriend. I just, I just don't get it. I cannot get into this trailer whatsoever for me zach i still love you dude but (laughs) sell how much do you guys think that the twilight zone has influenced major feature films and what are your guys thoughts on the twilight zone thanks well i remember i I think the answer is yes and no i mean because i do remember the original film of uh, child's play and one of the filmmakers talking about that episode of twilight zone and if you don't know the episode of twilight zone that i'm talking about it is one of the freakiest 25 minutes or whatever it is you could spend in front of your television with the lights turned off. And this is old 50s black and white thing. And it's about this mean alcoholic dad and he's got a little girl who's got a doll and the doll starts to talk. And I'm actually getting freaked the hell out just thinking about the episode. It is, <laughs> it doesn't run around and wield the knife. It's just, you know, my name's Molly and I'm your friend and other things. My name's Molly. You should be nicer. Is it, what the hell? Then finally later, near the end of the episode, it's, my name's Molly and I'm going to kill you. And it's like, and I'm just, it sounds so simple, mm-hmm. but it was the simple techniques of Twilight Zone that was, oh my, look at, look at my arms. <laughs> look at my arm. That, I'm just getting freaked out about it. They, that was so effective. I challenge anybody to watch that episode of Twilight Zone at night with the lights off. Gumby. Anyway, Hal, you had a chance to watch a trailer last night. Your thoughts on it? Absolutely, and I watched it even uh, more than John because I watched it about fifty times in my dreams. <laughs> and uh, I'm finding us as always is John Campia. Well, yippee, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to the show. Coming to you. I don't know where that came from. Yippee! yippee. Thank you for joining us today. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. And Ashley is apparently a thumbnail. I am also here, John Schnepp. Yippee, Anakin, and stuff like that. Things. Hi. 
<laughs> Yippee! Also here, Mark Ellis. Welcome to Quarter Movie Talk. It's going to be a podcast racing good time today. <laughs> podcast racing good time. If you couldn't tell, we watched, we did our Attack of the Clones mm-hmm. commentary yesterday. Mm-hmm. It is now up and online. We just haven't made it public yet. We'll make it public uh, uh, this afternoon. It'll be public enough for those of you who've been waiting so desperately <laughs> no. to see it. We got to take all those f bombs out of it first. <laughs> yeah, after watching our uh, Phantom Menace commentary, the Attack of the Clones commentary is already just sitting on our server, waiting yep. to be revealed to the world. Just brewing <laughs> slowly. <laughs> waiting for everybody to watch it and all it's good to say. Oh, oh, oh I all see. Right. We weren't going <laughs> to do it, but then we realized <laughs> yeah. the number four is there. Uh, hey. It's feet. It feels feet, like it's I feet. Yeah, they're not going to. Fantastic Four in Phase 5 doesn't feel right. <laughs> Fantastic Four, Phase Four. Hmm. But wait, all Phase, phase four, four is going to be just six Fantastic Four <laughs> universe means. movies. That's what? it. The world's going crazy. Yeah. Chris Pratt. Oh. Ray nails it for fifty oh. points in the back. That's Ray Aura. That wow. was Chris Pratt before anybody really knew who Chris Pratt was, nice. which is kind of interesting. Sell. Um, I'm, I'm going to say here's and, and here's why. I I was go- earlier today. I, are you okay? I was oh, yeah, over the room. Go on. Oh my okay. God. I have to hear How this. dare you sell okay. it? Okay, so here's the thing. I earlier today I was going to buy it because I watched it for the first time because I I have not been impressed so far. Look, I really like what Disney's been doing with their animated films lately. Big fan. And just because you know you don't like something the way it looks at first, it can turn out to be awesome. That being said. Um, I watched the trailer early this morning, and I was like, that was really cute. By far, favorite part of the trailer is that sloth, after he hears the joke, <laughs> and the slow motion of his smile, priceless, <laughs> absolutely priceless. But then I watched it with you guys a little bit later, and I found myself just waiting to get to that part because nothing else in the trailer is entertaining at all. Nothing else in the trailer was funny. Nothing else in the trailer was charming. Then it gets to that big smile thing, and then my heart felt happy again. It's really great. But I realized after watching it a second time, it's like, you know what? No, I don't think this is that good of a trailer. I had one great moment, and everything else was just kind of wasted time, and I still don't have a lot of hope for this movie. Hope I'm wrong. I'll be there opening day to check it out. But right now, I'm just not on board. So for me, I got to sell it. The first thing he does every day, he walks in, goes into the fridge, Mm -hmm. Finds my lunch, and the first words out of his mouth every day are, "Is this your lunch?" Well, now it's mine. That's, That's what he does See every do day. It. Yep. And See, I, and I'm, Ellis, I can't do he's anything a, about he's a it. A real monster. <laughs> yeah. ah, delicious McRib. Thing is, if you're having a debate that we need to settle with you and your buddies at a bar, that's one thing. If you're debating with your grandma over which Christmas movie to watch, right. she yeah. might opt for a Christmas yeah. carol. I think yeah. she wins. Yes. Grandma wins. Yes, yes. Christmas story, it is. No, and it comes, do you remember oh, that? Oh, that's right. And all the Swedes were bragging. That's, that's right. Snap, and it was the snap, Swedes. I got to see it before you. I'm a Swede and I got to see it before that you. One? That's a really horrible that a accent. I, no, I'm not doing a Swede. I, I'm just doing a. I got to see it before you. Bragging jerk that those you Swedes that love. Oh me, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the angry, hateful Swedes who get to see Star Wars first. You better shut up. I think, no I think Avengers that came is, That out. is yeah. what, what jerks sound like. That's yeah. exactly yeah, get to see it before you. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, All they of our that. equipment <laughs> is from <laughs> Ikea, so you can't <laughs> hate that much. I know. Everything yeah. we are on the the score Ikea. long <laughs> desk and the obsonk, uh, you know, <laughs> basket case and the Fimblar uh, bookshelf. Thank you, Swedes. Uh, I mean, they're making a Pez movie. You know, <laughs> making an emoji movie, making yeah, an right. Angry Birds movie. Why not? Tetris. Yeah. What's happening to this planet? The adventures of <laughs> Father Bear and Mother Bear and Brother and Sister Bear. They never yeah. like, took the time to name themselves, probably because right. the bears are just trying to survive. But but you make it adventures. really dark. Yeah. Like yeah. Brother Bear is hooked on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> He's hooked on bear heroin. Yeah. Oh. Barrowin. <laughs> Man, I can't get enough shots of this barrowin, dude. <laughs> so many childhoods just oh. collapsing. Oh, he's selling there dates with his sister to pay for his addiction? <laughs> now I really oh want to see this Dark. movie so bad. <laughs> totally live action. <laughs> like, Father Bear's home. Who <laughs> wants it first, kid? That's right. <laughs> and oh, add a couple of really dark gosh. songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's let's great. totally destroy our fond memories of this wonderful <laughs> thing. Just call it Barrowin. <laughs> 
You are, ah, see, uh, see, oh, that's a good one. See, that's that, a good one. See, it works in it your favor. It benefits everyone. I'm not trying to help cancer research. I'm trying to help you get laid. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's no. But see, in all seriousness, donate to cancer research, guys. That's what it's all about. Uh, and I want to thank the guys sitting at the table with me, sitting over here on my left, Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? I was just uh, over on the corner, like shooting up some heroin. You missed it. <laughs> <clears throat> you can find you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp. You can get my film, The Death of Superman Lives. What happened? by going to www.tdoslwh.com. We have a special Thanksgiving. You could uh, buy the film right now. We lowered it 10 bucks. Get the digital download and support an independent film. And of course, over here, Mr. Mark Ellis. Mark, where can people find you? Well, when I'm not at a dirty Motel 6 with Mother Bear, you can find me on Twitter at 5150 Ellis. Also, Instagram. I've seen The Revenant today, so I'll tweet out my reaction immediately. I wish I could grow a beard in that time. Uh, <laughs> wine School on the chat board is ha hashtagging beards for Barrowin. Yeah. Um, wow. And of course, our lovely <laughs> Lovely host today, Miss Ashley Mova. Ashley, where can people find you? Twitter, Instagram, at Ashley Mova. Happy Tuesday, guys. And of course, you can find me on all the various social media networks, specifically on Facebook and on Twitter by following me at John Campia. That'll do it for us, guys. Listen, don't forget, if you love your entertainment news, make sure you bookmark Collider.com. Visit the site every day to be kept up to date on everything going on in the world of movies and television. And make sure you come back tomorrow for our final episode of Movie Talk this week before we break for the holidays. We look forward to seeing you. And until next time, Bye-bye. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the Best Damn Movie Related Show on the planet Earth, coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. And we are so glad you decided to make us part of your day. Also here is writer-director John Schnepp. Nothing tastes better when you get a foot in your face. <laughs> like if you were like fighting in karate or something. Just, Sinead just reminded me about like <laughs> sparring and getting a grown man's foot in your face. I'm sure some things taste a little bit better. No, nothing tastes worse is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Or except when you say Gesundheit and don't really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, also here it's Mark Ellis. You would know because apparently Sinead can take John Schnepp in a fight. She's a blue belt. Schnepp only made it to green belt. Oh. Fun fact. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's Monday. I never host on Mondays. I'm really excited. I know. We're so, it's so exciting. Sinead is here. I'm honored to meet a blue belt. I'm in such a good mood. It's because I never get to do the box office report. It doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound good at all. And I, I John know, Campia, the wet blanket of Monday. When, when Vin <laughs> Diesel, when you get Vin <laughs> Diesel, who is a huge star power right now, massive star power right now, can do a lot of vehicles or franchises. Anybody want to take a guess? What grand total combined all three Riddick movies have made? Hmm. Grand total. All I put together. I 100 under, million? I think it's no. under Hunger Games. Yeah, uh, under Hunger Games. Uh, Hunger weekend. Games. Uh, 223 You're million? close. It's, about, it's around $250 million okay. hmm. that all three put together. Nobody cares about Riddick. <laughs> uh -uh. The numbers prove it. I Nobody care. cares. I care about Riddick. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, Mr. Campia. Mr. Campia. <laughs> I believe me and Alice care about now, Riddick. Apparently nobody went with you to the theaters because <laughs> nobody cares. Come on. Nerds, let's make this happen. I mean, that's the thing. Even though it's Vin Diesel, the I last know. one. Like John, the Necroverse is vast. <laughs> Let me just talk about the Necroverse for a minute. It's a vast universe. It's a vast Phil universe that people don't necessarily go out right. to see. That's so it. we're going to bring the universe to you guys at that's home. Right. It's going to be on TV. Just like Reddy, you don't have to get up your couch to go yeah. see it. It will come to Vin Diesel will come to your house. <laughs> Who's that? It's it's the guy. It's Dom Toretto. Let right. him in. He's Riddick's got a cool here. universe to show you. Yeah, Riddick's got those silver eyes. Time to check out some you weird know, bounty hunters. Good, we need somebody humping a leg. That's what this scene's missing. <laughs> what about peeing on a leg? Or oh, pee on a dog his leg. Yeah. Yes. No, we need more racist robots in this scene. Yes. What about balls? Robots have balls. Right, giant show that robot giant robot testicles. balls <laughs> makes sense to me. And what? boobs, lots and lots of boobs. Yeah, uh, robots I mean, cowering behind buildings. Now she's uh. having this really intimate moment with her father, discussing their their tragic past. But what if she's wearing a short skirt and bending over the couch while she's having that conversation? <laughs> That's a <laughs> Michael Bay thing to do. Tiny robots, big robots. It's going to be insane. So I think it's it's exciting. <laughs> Tiny robots, big yeah. robots. Yeah, you can actually have a toy, and it's like, no, it's this is the size it's supposed to be. It's on my shoulder. It's a micronaut. I don't know. <laughs> and, then, and then we can have Riddick jump in. Watch my TV show. That's right. And Ant-Man. I'm also part of the microverse. Yeah, Ant-Man's a super tie-in. And now Adam on, on, yeah. on uh, Flash. Right. I've got a, I'm, I'm part Iron Man anyway. 
anyway, write me. The shrinky <laughs> thing right yeah. now is very popular. Everyone's into so. people getting tiny. I guess it's like a drug reference. So <laughs> everyone's guilty. I can't wait to see it. So. See, I was hoping for Michael Bay. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> That's right. No, this is totally. This, 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 I'm, I'm on board with this. You were about to say. Oh, nothing as cool as that. I was just going to say. If Michael Bay directed Murder on the Orient Express, it would just be the train exploding in slow motion for like two hours. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> Nothing as poignant as that yeah, about Kate Blanchett. That's a I'm just hard a act to follow. Yeah. I know? just had a garbage joke. That's <laughs> it. You just had a great story about Kate Blanchett. Yeah. It was a good joke. Oh, thanks. It was a good joke. We're all like, like uh, we were so into that story. I know. <laughs> that's why I put some icing on the cake there, guys. All right, gals. guys. Thanks for watching The Beatles on Ed Sullivan. Next up, a magician with poo jokes. <laughs> Totally packed. Probably helped affect the box office globally. <laughs> globally. globally. No, I mean, I was yeah. I was at the Funny Bone in Omaha, and there were just tons of people yeah. who were like, we're seeing you. And Alice, so Alice's fault. Game. Yeah. That $20 million went right here, baby. That's I was going to go see Peanuts, <laughs> and then I found out Mark Ellis yeah. was he's here in, in Omaha. He's I'm not in the Midwest that often. Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> and never know the pain of how long we've had to wait. But, hey, that's the magic of animation. I like Although you they've done a pretty good job giving us some good films in the No, meantime. I know. Yeah. Believe me, I'm not I just love that Schnapp refers to them as new kids. Yeah. Like, oh, we got a new shipment of kids coming yeah. in. Like, Unbox them. It's Boxing Day. It's after Christmas. I got to return these. These kids yeah. are defective. These kids aren't working out. They haven't seen Incredibles yet. Get them on board. Well, greetings and the most heartfelt of salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best damn movie related show on the planet Earth. Coming to you from right here at the stream. I was going to say the stream, not TV. I did <laughs> that. Like for, that. <laughs> I did that for two years, but we've been here for six months. We are in Burbank, ladies and gentlemen. My wires are so crossed. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> so you're John Schnapp. Hey, I know we've been at AMC Movie Talk. I mean, Collider. <laughs> Collider Movie Talk for quite a while. We love you're being here. You're a good here. man for covering What's me. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Also, here's Christian Harloff. Oh, I mean, Mark uh, Ellis. Oh. Take another sip of heartache, boys, because you Burn. can't drink the streaming AMC way. <laughs> Schnapp, which, if any of these actresses, would you like to see in Baywatch? Well, this isn't really what I would call a short list. This is like the seven. <laughs> the seven. Well, as uh, opposed to the hundred yeah, candidates, the I guess. Seven, uh. seven beautiful ladies, all, uh, you know, obviously they're going to be in bikinis and bathing suits. And it's Baywatch. They've already got The Rock. There's going to be a bunch of other like stud hunk dudes that they're going to be like trailing out on their whatever short list. So this is like the uh, the meat market version of which ladies yeah. here uh, do you guys or gals find attractive? So I'd say all of them. You know, I had to do my <laughs> research this morning because I wasn't wasn't familiar with a lot of them. So I found all of them incredibly stunning and beautiful. And I think they should all be in Baywatch. How's that for a lady? <laughs> man? Talk about the dog pound. I mean, you think in Hollywood they could have found somebody at least remotely attractive. Oh, my God. I mean, that's quite the list. And he well, we already know Leo's winning this year for The Revenant, but I think the best supporting actor could go to Snow, baby. If not this go year, it could, look, it could happen, okay? The Force Awakens could be awesome, and it could get nominated for a lot of Oscars. Having said that, I think he's definitely going to win an Oscar at some point for something. I would, I would assume it would be best supporting actor, but even if it's not that, even if they do something with performance capture, where even if, you know how they host the Oscars, but then uh, at a certain point during the ceremony, they cut away to two weeks ago right. at the Science of Demi yes, Awards, hosted yeah. by, like, Alan Thicke or somebody, we gave away <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Everybody loves the Sieber family. That's right. He might win one of those, if nothing else. So, yes, Andy Serkis will definitely have some hardware from the Oscars on his mantle at some point. Yeah, yeah Phantom Menace should be remade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, he also asked Pizza or Calzone, and I'm just really curious. Pizza or Calzone? Um, You know what? Years <laughs> ago, I was really a Calzone guy, but I, I think I've gone to just... I like me my traditional pizza. Yeah. I really do. Why is that even a... Yeah. Why? It's always it pizza. Uh, the it's answer is pizza. Pizza. Oh, okay. Well, calzone. Unless, the size, unless it's the low-cal calzone zone. <laughs> what, Never. That's would, a, if any of you get that reference, good for it. you. I would right. have a hot pocket over a calzone, all right? Whoever thinks a oh, calzone no. no. is better than good. Come down off your ivory good. tower and eat with the rest of us plebs. <laughs> Enjoy pizza. Ellis, God's hang on us. a second. What about pizza, 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 calzone, pizza, pizza, pizza? Oh, uh, like you just, missed one in there. You right, missed one note. Throw a calzone in there occasionally. A strong bully, maybe. What's next? Star-Lord, the Empire... Kills Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? First of all, you can find this movie, Dancing Beyond the Battle Beyond the Stars. How about that? Uh, oh, it's pretty horrible. I'd pay to uh, see you that. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp, at tdoslwh.com. You get my movie, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened, by going to www.tdoslwh.com. 
Sitting over here, Mr. Mark Ellis. Mark, where can people find you? All right, I'm at the world-famous Laugh Factory tonight doing a very special charity show in Southern California coming out this weekend. I'm in West Palm Beach in Florida. Online at 5150 Ellis, and I have our combo movie, gentlemen. All right. Yeah. Jaws and Point Break. Yeah. You guys like adrenaline <laughs> rushes? See how you do with Bruce. <laughs> I like what it. What do you point Jaws? How about that? Jaws point. Jaws point. Jaws point. Like yeah. And of course, soon to be seen in the upcoming Baywatch movie, the lovely Miss Ashley Mova. Ashley, where can people find you? On Twitter and on Instagram, at Ashley Mova. Happy Tuesday, guys. And of course, you can find me on the various social media networks. Follow me at John Campia. That'll do it for us, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. And until next time, bye-bye. I think, I know I myself, I've started to wonder, hey, maybe she's got a bigger role in this movie than I thought. But now hearing Snyder start off by saying, well, she's got a cameo. Uh, okay, it's not a cameo. She actually does something. Maybe that takes us back to the original assumption that we're probably not going to see a lot of Wonder Woman in this. And I think that would be a great thing. Why? Because I don't want to see Wonder Woman. No, 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 not at all. I want to see lots of Wonder Woman later on. I've just, you know me, I've always wanted the absolute big chunk of this movie to be focused on Batman and Superman. That's where I want the lens of this movie to be. Yes, I understand for all those millions of voices crying out, but John, it's also called Dawn of Justice. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> but it's Batman versus Superman. And that's where the focus of this movie needs to be. But John! <laughs> but John! Excuse me! I, I disagree with both of you on the, on the case John! <laughs> on the case of that's like seven times a day around this office ladies and gentlemen seven times a day hashtag but John <laughs> no you have, you have no you have no idea in the chat board how much has been hashtag but John ah, I'm gonna be hearing this all day it's all a right. new one it's the, it's the new uh, get filthy or whatever or get bring on the all right what's next all right folks. mom are you watching today mom turn on a computer she turned <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, but I won't. Garbage. So for those of you fortunate enough to not know what, what the question is talking about. So uh, about a week or, or so ago, somebody got on Reddit, which is a very exclusive thing. Very few people can get on Reddit and post anything uh, and sarcasm. So anybody can go on Reddit and post anything they want. Somebody went on Reddit and claimed that, it, by the way, this is an anonymous, unverified, nobody knows who this person is, person, random person hopped on uh, Reddit and posted that they saw Batman vs. Superman and they they loved it and all this kind of stuff. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, well, there oh, we go, that's right? A it was one of the there studio executives that gave it a standing ovation. Yeah, one of the studio <laughs> and, you know, then some people saying, oh, have been emailing and tweeting me and whatever, saying, why have you not been talking about this? So one single unverified, totally anonymous guy randomly hops on Reddit and writes whatever he wants and that's supposed to be a story? Really? It reminds me a lot, go back about a year or a little bit more than a year ago, remember when it came out that, hey guy, and I believe it was also on Reddit, I believe it was on Reddit, there's, guys, this image just appeared on Reddit and you got that image there, Dennis? Let's bring that up. Okay, there it is. This image appeared yeah. on Reddit. <laughs> Guys, Batman versus Superman is being split into two parts. The part one sounds like a gay porn movie, Enter the Night, and the second part <laughs> is going to be called Dawn of Justice. And it, the first one's coming up low, and everybody got all excited. And I remember at the time telling everybody, this is, wait a minute, so just somebody, we don't know who, posted this picture on Reddit, and we're supposed to believe this is real, and so many people... You, you wait and see Campia. It, well, you know what they said. But John, <laughs> but John, <laughs> it looks so real. Everybody was telling me, oh, no, John, it's real. This is going to be real. They're going to split it in half. And sure enough, they, they, they didn't. They might think it is the, like the greatest film ever. In it. I don't know. Because... But John. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Garbage. Hey, guys, love the show. Will there be Collider t-shirts soon? Fans would love it. Yeah, well, I'm wearing one. You and <laughs> you in particular have been on my case for like a year. About yeah, no, I'm, I'll bring on the filthy shirt would sell like hotcakes. Yeah, you have no idea how many people have asked me for either bring on the filthy shirts, damn it, Dennis shirts. Or, um, now, John, 
that or <laughs> yeah now we have that uh that would be an interesting yeah actually we we have had conversations actually with our new parent company complex media um they've actually they come to us and say hey maybe we should look at putting some merchandise together and putting some t-shirts together so uh i would say i i don't know that it'll be this week or this month but i would say yes it's definitely going to happen there will be some uh some uh collider video t-shirts well it's not a real merch store until you get beer koozies just so you know yeah beer need, koozies yeah most with of Natasha's face on it i would, that would drink that like, i would drink that course light yeah <laughs> there we go it's getting questions. weird guys getting weird <laughs> that that didn't actually mean to sound weird at all. Hey Natasha, <laughs> I drank your face last night. It's delicious. Right. Thank you. <laughs> but John <laughs> <laughs> Call that. Oh. Don't Is take that, your kid their three year old to see it follows. Right, because, yeah. gonna, because you're gonna screw exactly. them up because, because you're what these screw kids them up. are they're invested in the movie. Yeah. I was just so let down by you're this. You're not gonna all give a schlong, at least give a story. At least give a story. There was neither. <laughs> What? I'm just saying, I, I, you've opened yourself up to, we, we're finally getting schlong memes. <laughs> you've opened yourself up. Finally. Schnapp, right, for you, the worst My two, I mean, you listed off a bunch of doozies, which I could easily replace, and like, but I'll, I'm not going to sub out any of mine. Insurgent. Oh, I literally wanted to yeah. leave the theater, yeah. and I was seeing it. And for it was free. a free it was theater. Was free. You saw it. I could have just gone outside and drank, and then, <laughs> and then after the movie, I was like, why didn't I just go outside and drink? Bad film. It's a, you know, but this obviously that that film I didn't see the first one, so I didn't. I remember because have... you and Dennis tried to talk me into going into the theater oh, with you. I'm like, I'm good, guys. Nah. I'm just gonna go back to we the hotel. Atlanta, right? <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, saw, we saw, saw it in Atlanta. Atlanta. Right. Man, what a <laughs> yuck! It was a stale bagel. I'm selling this trailer. I'm just kidding. I'm, I totally. I love this trailer. It's muggle worthy, uh, as you see on the briefcase. <laughs> I could think of a couple I don't want to attend: the Kill Bill wedding because everybody got killed yeah. in it. Um, <laughs> The red wedding? Yeah, the red wedding. Definitely don't want to be the Starks in that situation. Breaking news just came across the wire on The Hollywood Reporter. Director Ryan Johnson, who's supposed to direct Star Wars Episode Eight, has left Star Wars <gasps> Episode Eight. I'm kidding. I just wanted to give you a heart attack. Oh I just wanted to see your reaction. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Did you see Christian's face? <laughs> April Fool's Day? Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm like, how are you reacting to that so, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, guys, Ryan Johnson's leaving. I'm like, why aren't that you? Why do you have good. steam in your ears? But, good. John, you I, I will let you that. know this. For those people, I, I am known to prank. This is not over. That was so oh, good. John, John Campia. Oh, John Campia, you just opened a can yeah, of worms. You 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 you're you're you going to get pranked so me. bad. I'm sure there's a meme being created right you're now. You're going to get pranked Probably. so There's going to be Hulk dogs in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> An absorbing man dirty. drink. I'm, I'm going to eat the right. side of John Campia's face. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say a few words. In which I'm just, yeah. They came up with an answer to that question, and they made the transporter refueled, <laughs> which is, um, yeah. Now, actually, uh, I was starting to talk about the transporter refueled the other day on Movie Talk, but then after we shot the show, we realized the review embargo had not yet been lifted, so we had to edit it out of the show. But since the review embargo is now lifted, just the day that the movie's actually opening, which should tell you something, uh, we thought we would share what my thoughts on the transporter refueled were the other day. So here, take a look at this. He loved it. And, and I can tell you, it is the worst movie I've seen probably in the last two years. Oh, it's, dear. Like, no, it's, it's, it's not a bad movie. It's the worst movie. It, it's Woo. the worst movie. It, this Worse than City of Bones? I, it's worse than City of Bones. Wow. This, this might be the worst movie I've seen in like two years. This movie is horrible from start to finish. I remember one of the first things I said coming out of it was, it felt like a movie that was being made by guys in a movie. You know what I mean? Like when you're watching a movie and it's got a bunch of actors and producers in the movie and say, oh, we're going to shoot this movie and it's some hammy kind of whatever thing. That's what the transporter refueled is. <laughs> it's like Simple Jack in Tropic Thunder. It's like, it's like all the villains... You think they're being dubbed, but they're not. All oh, the villains, they talk like this. I'll get the drugs. Where's my money? You know, like, <laughs> everything, like, they're all like these Eastern European, whatever. Ed, Scr how do you pronounce Ed's last name? Scren? Screen? Uh, nobody really knows. Scheme, maybe? Now, you may recognize Ed as he was uh, Dar Darren or Doran in... Um, Dario? Dar <laughs> what was his name in, Ga in Game of Thrones, Dennis? 
Dario, whatever, in Game of Thrones, which was he was you know that warrior that Khaleesi started sleeping with, mm -hmm. and that then he had the long hair and narrow face, and then all of a sudden this past season he had short hair and a big beard and a completely different actor. But anyway, the reason he left Game of Thrones was to go and do the transporter movie so he could be a movie star. Chalk this one up to one of the worst career decisions in the history of Hollywood, and he's awful in it. It's not just that he's not Jason Statham. He's bad in the film. There's almost nothing redeemable about this movie other than four brief glimpses of moments. Ray Stevenson. Ray Stevenson as the father who you learn is like a former British secret agent. Of course he was. Cool. Um, so that's cool. But, but, and I, I know that I'm going into spoiler territory here, but I don't care. So if you really don't want to know anything about the transporter, <laughs> maybe fast forward a bit. <laughs> they did something in this movie that I couldn't believe was actually happening. <laughs> so first of all, you meet the dad, whatever, and you're thinking, yeah, at some point, the dad's, he's so predictable, the dad's gonna get kidnapped at some point and be used for leverage. Sure enough, as Ashley mentioned, in the synopsis of the film, he does get kidnapped by the girls, right? So the girl's like, if you wanna see your father alive again, you better do these things. Okay, so they kidnap the dad. They eventually, they start working with the girls. You can tell that in the trailer. They, they, they start working with the girls. So what do they do? A little later in the film, the dad gets kidnapped again! Oh, again! No. Twice in the same movie! This time by the other bad guys. We have your father. If you want to see him alive, you better just see him. Like, really? You're doing this twice in the same movie? I cannot believe how effing amateur this movie is. It's so bad it makes me angry. <laughs> I, I think I can't, it's, there is nothing redeemable other than brief moments of Ray Stevenson seducing the two hot young chicks and getting them both in bed. Other than that, nothing redeemable about this movie Wait, talk about, at all. Talk about the flashback scene where they're getting out of the van oh and then they God. show them getting okay, out of the so Talk about this. Right near the beginning. Once again, this is not a spoiler. It's right in the opening couple of minutes of the movie. So it's like 12 years ago. <laughs> It's supposed to be like this scene in New Orleans, and there's a there's a couple of black pimps and a couple of of prostitutes on the street, and these three SUVs pull up, and these European guys in black leather jackets just step out of the van and shoot them all. <laughs> and suddenly, leave one guy alive. Goes, you go tell all your friends that we run the prostitution ring here now. So they let him go, and then they bring out their own prostitutes. Right now, it's like 12 years later, and there's another scene with these clearly these same European thug guys. Now it's 12 years later, they're all rich, they're sitting around in some kind of club, whatever. And even though we just saw them like three minutes ago, every time the camera goes on one of the guys, it goes and take, does a flashback to what we just saw three minutes ago. It's like, see, this is the guy who got out of the van. And then the camera goes to the next guy in the club. See, this was him who got out after him in the van. And they, they did that for every single person sitting in the room. And like Wendy kept looking up at me, and I'm like, what am I watching? See, it's when it's you, terrible. When you explain, like John explained this this uh, to, to me at least last week when he saw it, because he was livid. <laughs> And I was like, tell me more. And this is when, <laughs> when he was explaining this to me for some like weird, like horror, sadistic reason. I was like, wow, now I want to see the movie because it just sounds so bad. It, it's almost, like, you almost have to see the movie. It's hard to you even to imagine. Like, so that's why I was like, please describe that scene again. Because I yeah. want to hear him say it again. It's almost unbelievable that that actually happens. I almost have to see. Did they really do that? Like literally the the scene after do a flashback scene of the scene that it's they just showed. It's within a couple of few minutes. Uh, it's, just a few minutes later. I mean, I'm looking boggling. at my uh, Hitman refueled or whatever is the transporter. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, like I want to see Ray Stevenson in the movie, right? And it's right. Yes. he's a British secret agent. He gets kidnapped twice, and he sleeps with the girls who kidnapped him. He's burning a lot of calories in this. <laughs> That's impressive. To me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, so I I don't recommend. Uh, if we're just going a simple of recommend or don't recommend. I'm, I'm going to go with a, a do not recommend unless you are morbidly curious, uh. in which case you might want to see this to say that you saw it. So so clearly I did not like Transport. Honestly, it, it went, it, it is probably, I think, the worst film in the past three or four years. Wow. Like I really, I thought it was that bad. Wow. But anyway, so for me, Transport Refueled and Jupiter said, if you watch the trailer and think for one second Sony's trying not to offend the NFL, 
Right. Then you haven't watched the trailer. Right. I mean, that the whole... entire thing is an anger, anger <laughs> incident. <laughs> like Tell the, whole... the truth. Yeah. Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. Like the whole yeah. trailer is yeah. like, holy Wait. crap! Like they're going yeah. full yeah. guns. I want to thank the guys sitting at the table with me. First of all, sitting over here, Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? Kristen, I want you to tell me the truth. <laughs> tell the truth about the peanuts <laughs> and all the other things that you took from my socks. Where did you put my socks, Kristen? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at John Schnepp and at T-D-O-S-L-W-H. Find my movie, The Death of Superman Lives What Happened. At www.tdoslwh.com and support, <laughs> supporting the independent film. I'm not giving up. All right, I'm done. Some of you know this. Some of you will find this astonishing. I was a professional break dancer uh, around the age. Like I want video. Go, I know. You I, know. I actually got paid for break dancing. Like, like when you're a pro in karate, you get a black belt. When you're a pro in golf, you get a PGA Tour card. When you're a pro <laughs> in break dancing, what do you get? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's right. the? How do you how do you chicks. earn your card? I got a head to toe Adidas windbreaker outfit, and I actually got paid to right. go dance at. So some you gigs. could do like you could spin on your head and stuff. I yes, I did. The wow. head spin was something I used to. And I used There's to spin no video of this, and I used to spin other people on my head. That was Wait, that was the, I was I was this size when I was like Schnapp, fifteen. Come back yeah, here. So if, <laughs> I, if, if I pay you, would you let Schnepp spin on your head? Uh, I, I I would certainly not want to try. Oh, dude, uh, Christmas Christmas yeah. party here is next weekend. Right, we'll, we have a Christmas we'll, party here. We'll get a couple shots of Jack in him, and then we'll do some break dance. Yes. Star Wars to me, I've, I've mentioned this on uh, Jedi Council the other day, it is my earliest childhood memory is my mom watching Star Wars with me. And I have mm. no other memory for another two or three years after that. I mean, that's my earliest memory. Wow. One of my next earliest memories was my Aunt Pina taking me to see The Empire Strikes Back, the second film. Um, and it, And as a child, seeing the images as this brand new film, Star Wars, that r completely birthed in the Hollywood blockbuster era. There had never been anything like this. There had never been a movie that came along and completely swept all of pop culture the way Star Wars did at the time. And as a kid, seeing on the TV screen those iconic images of the Man's Chinese Theater, although it was, it was called the Grommans, I think. I, I, no, it was Man's at first. It was the Man's Chinese Theater at first. And watching the, the crowds and seeing footage and pictures of that first premiere, to know that I'm going down there now to be a part of that is, I would give up everything else I have for it. I mean, I would give up this job. I wouldn't give up my wife, but I would give <laughs> up this job. I would give up um, any toys. I, I would give it all up to be there and be a part of that. It has literally been, I don't know, it's sad because we're talking about a movie, but it has literally been one of the very few items on my bucket list. And mm. uh, I, I, I just... I can't put it into words. So we're going to be videoing, probably using our Instagram a lot when we go down there. We're going to go down to the premiere probably about an hour and a half early. If you're not following us on Instagram yet, follow us on Instagram. We're Collider Video, all one word on Instagram. Make sure you're following us because we're going to be putting up video on Instagram, the 15 second videos, like right up to the moment we walk in the doors to go see the movie. Then right when we walk out, we'll, we'll Instagram some more. Then we're coming right back here to the studio to shoot a review. Ugh. Watch for that late Monday night. It's going to be amazing. All right, now serious question. Will you right. cry? Yep. I have cried. I appreciate three, the honesty. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. I'm absolutely going to cry when, when I'm there and that music starts yes. and the word Star Wars appears and the opening crawl comes. I have, I've cried in three movies in my life. If I'm remembering correctly, mm -hmm. it might have been four, but I think it was three. I cried near the end of Life is Beautiful with Roberto Benigni. And how you're, could you're, you not? Yeah, you're just not a you human not? being. You're yeah. not alive yeah. if, you haven't, if you didn't cry at the end of that movie. <laughs> uh, I cried in, I might have cried in Amelie, um, but one of the other ones is uh, I cried at the end of my best friend's wedding, and I'm not going to tell, I know this sounds like a weird <laughs> one to cry in, but I will tell that story another time. But so yes, I am absolutely going to cry. Well, I am very excited for you, and I can't wait to follow everything. I wish I was there too. I <laughs> can't wait. I wish you could come as well, and I wish all of you guys could be there. Joining us as always is is John Campia. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, greetings go. and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best damn movie related show on the planet Earth, coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Headquarters here in Burbank, California. More on that in a bit, and we are so excited to be a part of your day. Also, here is writer director John Schnepp. Everything's green, <laughs> everything's green on Monday at Collider Movie Talk. <laughs> also, here is 
colliders, Mark Ellis. I'd like to thank the Boston Celtics for this paint job. <laughs> and if Tyrese and Chris Pine want to come out and say they're going to be the Green Lantern, <laughs> this is the week to do it, boys. Right. Right. Or if you were laughing at the Julianne Moore one, you've got problems. So like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that she's forgetting things. <laughs> she's so amazing. Yeah. You know what? You thought, why have they not moved Hall H into Petco Park? So people don't have to line really? up for, four, for 48 hours That's to get in. That's a great in. idea. You put up the giant screen. You can fit as many people as you can in there. I've never understood why they don't do that. million dollar idea, and, and we're know. only on day one of Collider. <laughs> anyway, you guys can follow me on all the various social media networks, just on Twitter and on Facebook, wherever, just at John Campia. And I am saddened and disgusted by all of you who would not support me with my peeing in the bottle to habits when it comes to video games. You oh all know God. you did it, too. And all of you threw me under the bus. Wow. Also <laughs> last here. week. <laughs> John Schnapp. Yeah, you guys are hating on him about that bottle thing? <laughs> when he said it, I thought it was gross. <laughs> also, here's Mark Ellis. <laughs> Follow that up. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry. I was just doing something under the desk. Good to go. <laughs> oh, Good my go. gosh. <laughs> that was Mark Ellis's pee face. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, thank you so much. It was We premiered it at San Diego Comic-Con. Thank you, Jack Hole, for touring it. And, um, <laughs> you can get it at www.tdosl.com. Sorry, tdoslwh.com. You can get it right now. You can get a Blu-ray, a DVD, or a digital download. You could buy it right now. It's available. You can watch it. You just click it and watch it right now. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp and at tdoslwh. Thanks, guys. Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best damn movie-related show on the planet Earth, coming to you right here at the Collider Video Headquarters here in Burbank, California. And I am a proud member of the male gender who never notices differences in women's hairstyles. Uh, also here, writer-director <laughs> John Schnepp. I have to say, Ashley's hair is striking today amazing Farah-esque fair like it's got a little feathering action you guys it's darker i come in and no one <laughs> noticed no one noticed my darker hair i hope you guys know let's go to one shot of ashley now yeah. guys now this I, is now, way darker. Is it darker oh my I gosh girls i'm yeah. sure you noticed i'm sure the girls did yes. us in the fan community and i'm including myself in this trust me i am as guilty as this of anybody okay what we often feel as fans of anything, whether it's fans of Dragon Ball Z or fans of Star Wars or fans of Ghostbusters, what we tend to then start to believe and feel is that like this microphone is us. This now empty water bottle is the world and we see the world like this. <laughs> The world revolves around us and everything that ever happens should be done in service to us because we are the core fans, right? And like I said, I'm mocking myself here as much as anybody because I have done this. I am so guilty of this, right? So the, the ultimately thing is why do studios do things that they know that might take off the core fans? Because the core fans don't matter. I mean, ultimately, now, should it matter? That's a different argument altogether, okay? That's a totally different discussion that we can totally engage in another time, right? But when we were talking about the core fans, okay, the, who are the core hardcore fans of Ghostbusters? Well, they're not nearly as big a number as you might think. And if they were nearly as big a number as you might think, then the studio, being the greedy SOBs that they are, and like in the words of Richard Greco, greed is good, greed works. Then, then that's what the studios would do. But the studios know that they're not going to make a new multi-hundred, multiple hundreds and hundreds and hundreds million dollar franchise if all they do is catering to the core fans. They understand they have a great rich property in the Ghostbusters, very brand recognizable name in the Ghostbusters. Now we're going to bring some new comedy stars, we're going to do a new take on it, and we think that's the way to go. And now, to try to then totally equate that with a situation like Star Wars is totally inapplicable. These are two totally different scenarios. There are, I think, even the most diehard of Ghostbusters fans will agree that there are just a ton more Star Wars fans out there and a lot more people who are showing their kids and then showing their grandkids Star Wars that it just makes sense for them to carry on the story. I don't think it's disrespectful at all. But remember my, my opinion. Remaking is not a disrespect to the original because the original is always there to cherish and love. I don't think them going in this new direction with Ghostbusters is in any way disrespectful to the core fans of Ghostbusters. What would be disrespectful is if they say, if they pulled a George Lucas and, and I love George Lucas, but if they pulled a George Lucas and said, we're going to take, we're going to re-release the original Ghostbusters, but now um, we're going to take out uh, Ernie Hudson and we're going to replace him with a, you know, a 17-year-old Jamaican woman. We're going to CG him out. And instead of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, we're going to have, a, who's big and marketable right now? We're going to have Justin Bieber. Just, a giant Justin Bieber is destroying the city <laughs> and changing that movie. 
That would be disrespectful to the Ghostbusters fans. A new incarnation while leaving and cherishing the treasure. I don't think that's disrespectful. Anyway, Schnepp, am I totally off base here? What do you think? What if it was a giant Ted walking? <laughs> that would um, be great. No, you're not off base. I think you're right. I mean, I think people you know, hold their things so close to the chest. You know, a lot of fans do, especially. They're like, don't mess with my thing. And if you're going to mess with it, make it exactly the way I want. I think they went on record earlier this year and said that, I mean, I know Dan Aykroyd was part of saying this, and I don't know if I believe it or not, but they were like, the Ghostbusters extended or expanded universe. Remember oh, this would be a full with all new, oh, yeah. An entire universe of yeah. Ghostbusters. Like, hang on a second. Let's see if the first one makes money, the yeah. first reboot. You guys can find me at Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp and at TDOSLWH. Uh, check out uh, Heroes tomorrow and hashtag Collider Heroes, your questions. I'm putting together the notes today, so maybe we'll pick your question, make it good. And uh, definitely... If you want to see my film, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened, go to www.tdoslwh.com, support independent film, and buy my film, either digital download or Blu-ray or DVD. I, I appreciate you guys going to my site to get the film. Thank you. And, of course, our lovely and darker-haired host today, Miss Ashley Mova, <gasps> with their stunning, deep brunette Thank you. love. It's so Thank amazing. It's different. Thank it's, you. You looked so different. We couldn't, so different. We couldn't figure it out. We were like, what did she do? And that's why I, I, knew, I know we didn't mention the hair, but it was like because we were so stunned and freaked oh, out. Oh, like, okay. Like deer in the headlights. <laughs> okay. Like, she did something amazingly different. I don't know what it is. I can't mention it. I'd feel weird if I said something, <laughs> and then she brought it up, and we we're like, of course, it's the hair. That's what it was. Obviously. Yeah. Ashley Mova, where can people find you? You guys can let me know if you see the difference on Twitter <laughs> and on Instagram at Ashley Mova. Happy Monday, guys. The last name is ever, first name is greatest. When it comes to skin tone, I am the pastest. pastest. Oh my gosh. Close. That was kind of amazing. So close. <laughs> Ryan, you're good. Also, me you're John Schnapp. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm from the East Coast. I used to eat uh, Drake's cakes. <laughs> very delicious. If you've never tried them here in the West Coast. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Also, here is Mark Ellis. You're missing a golden opportunity to mention that I used to have the card Fire Drake from Magic the Gathering. It was yes. the Red oh, Man. I oh. love and the it Fire ties Drake. into the first story today. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ashley, all right. start us off. I want to thank, first of all, the guy sitting at the table with me, sitting over here, Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? You guys can find me at uh, Twizzler.com. <laughs> I'm working on my brand new Twizzler movie. That might change it to Red Vines. It might be a bidding war. We don't know. Uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> at John Schnepp and at TDOSLWH. You can also find my documentary, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened, at www.tdoslwh.com. Please buy a digital download or a Blu-ray. That helps me get out of debt. Thanks. <laughs> and of course, sitting over here, Mr. Mark Ellis. Mark, where can people find you? At 5150 Ellis on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know what I thought of Fantastic Four when I see it tomorrow morning. Tonight, I'm at the Comedy Store in Hollywood. Tomorrow night, the Improv in Hollywood. Come enjoy some yucks. And, of course, our lovely host today, Miss Ashley Mova. Ashley, where can people find you? On Twitter and on Instagram, at Ashley Mova. Happy Tuesday, guys. And uh, the role tells me that you can find me. <laughs> that was terrible. You can find me and follow me on Facebook. It was awesome. Twitter. Do it again. Do it again. No charisma points. <laughs> Joining us, as always, is John Campia. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the best damn movie-related show on the internet. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Headquarters here in Burbank, California. And we are so glad you decided to make us part of your day. Also here, John Schnepp. Hey, I went to Seal Beach for the first time. I didn't know what it was. It was really fun. You guys should check it out sometime, <laughs> especially if you're surfers like me. This episode of Movie Time brought to you by Seal Beach. <laughs> <laughs> also, here it's Mark Ellis. And the tourism department also wants to remind you that I was in Big Sur hiking this weekend. I did 10 miles. <laughs> with your mom. It's one day miles. with my mom. That was awesome. Yes, That's there was. impressive. It was, it was, it was, I was tired. I was more tired than my mom was. <laughs> we saw well. a cougar. Mm. <laughs> Was it your mom? <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. I knew it. You set Ashley up. She will okay. knock it down. You hands off her, okay? You're not going to be my new dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Mova is Mark Ellis' new dad in Flavor Time. All right, guys. Mark, I just want to okay. ground you for a week because... <laughs> I want to be a things. DJ. <laughs> <laughs>
It's, yeah, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> Bad. Right. It was, it was Captain Kirk. Kirk. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. One of these. Uh. Oh, yeah. One of the double axe handles. The Macho Man double axe handles. Who ever does that? Yeah, that's an automatic. And, and get no hurt. kidding. They yeah. did the karate yeah, chops through the shoulders. It's like. Sorry, man. That movie's horrible. I got a buddy of mine is one of the stars of that film, too. And that movie's just horrible. You didn't like that, uh, what, the Vanilla Ice? Remember he had a little Vanilla Ice was in there for too long. High point. He was that a was high, high point, point in the movie. But, well, he thought. Uh, so, Mar and Martin, stop eating all those chickens and get with it. That and was the, the second Hulk. Don't forget about the Hulk dogs. <laughs> yeah, the Hulk the dogs. Hulk that, dogs. That's kind of wildly different and creepy, right? <laughs> RR. <laughs> then, yeah. He's in between that 48th slice of pizza and he's like, I'm tired. <laughs> Yawn. These superhero dramas, I must kill another character. And savagely. Spectre Nick yeah. Nolte. Yeah, he's fighting Spectre Nick Nolte <laughs> in the water. I would keep it at five. And I actually don't like that they expanded the best picture to 10. I, mm. I, feel, I feel it does diminish it a little bit. You don't have to add everybody. It's like, it's, oh, it's going to be. It's like you can equate it like I for the first time on the show equate it to sports uh, like <laughs> yeah, in the ah, Olympics in the Olympics Olympic no one really remembers the person who won the bronze decides he of, wants to be a DJ yeah he's, <laughs> he's like he's got a DJ manual he's got the thing is all set up he's like slow learning he's got a little scrubby scrub while he's watching a TV show having some cereal and he just gets stabbed in the throat by Jason and that's the that movie. sounds like the end of the movie. No, that's, that's the beginning. beginning. That's okay. the beginning. It's for, you know, it's just a Robert Englund cameo, like Scream. Oh, and then, bam, Jason's wow. back. And then you cast a brand new Freddy. Maybe yeah. he's inside Jason. And spinning at the Hollywood Club tonight. <laughs> Make sure to bring your dancing shoes. <laughs> All right, folks, that'll do it for us. My name is John Cameron for Collider Video. And until next time, bye-bye. Order our soundtrack. <laughs>